hey, I just wanted to uh, just let you know I have a new book out, and it's called Toxic Resolution. And I'm just really excited about this book. You know, I was believing God. I was seeking Him. I was saying, you know, God, what is it that I could write that would have an effect upon this generation that would make a difference in uh, people's lives? And I really believe that this is a book that's just going to help so many people get free from addiction uh, to pornography, addiction to alcoholism, drug addiction. You know, I basically uh, mostly wrote it. You know, God gave me a dream. And uh, in this dream, I found myself driving with my daughter. I was just uh, downtown in some city. As I'm driving around, I noticed that there was a line of people to the right of me and everybody in this line, I noticed they had black clothing. Now, I thought that was a little unusual. And uh, in the dream, I wanted to find out where this line went. And all of a sudden, I'm no longer in my car. I mean, you know, my daughter was next to me, so, you know, apparently an angel must have taken over to start driving. But um, I found myself following this line of people in black clothing it zigzagged in between these buildings. And I actually, you know, just like walked, you know, on this, you know, zigzag path following these people. And when I finally came in between some buildings, I came to a, an area that there was a pool. And uh, I noticed that closer to the front of the line that the people in the black clothing uh, were in, that uh, they had less clothes on. And basically by the time you got to the front, of this line, I mean, the lady was just ready to just take it all off. I knew exactly. I mean, she was like grabbing, you know, the top of her, you know, strap of her bra, basically to remove her clothing. And you could kind of see the people were that way. Well, as I'm, you know, I mean, I'm right there. There's camera people. There's people in gurneys. I mean, the, the cameramen are everywhere, you know, getting ready to photograph, you know, all these people in this line. And it's like everyone in that line was being set up to finally just remove everything. And uh, I heard, well, actually, I saw a door next to me that kind of a little light was coming out of the door, and I, I went inside the door to see what was going on. And when I walked in, there was this man that was sitting at this desk, and a big man, um, I think he had a cigar in his mouth or something, white suit on, sitting behind this desk, and he was just laughing. And there was people that were lined up and they had, like, collection buckets, like white buckets, like you see at church, you know, like, the, you know, passed around the collection plate. But they were loaded with money. And they began to take and just walk up to this man's desk and just pour the money out on top of his desk as he began to just laugh and laugh. And I knew what it was. It was that God was showing it was the whole sex industry. It was, it was the guy behind the desk represented the, the sex industry and all the people that were carrying those buckets for the different aspects of, you know, the internet, uh, you know, uh, websites and, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, the phone, uh, you know, I, I do phone ministry at my church, and you know, they, there's an online sex phone ministry in a sense to, you know, help increase the spirit of lust in the earth. And anyways, so each level, you know, like uh, sex trafficking may have been one bucket, and you know, child pornography another and, uh, you know, all these different avenues, and they were just pouring their money. And I believe what God was trying to show me, oh, and then also I ended up, boom, right back with my daughter. And my daughter, like, kind of looked at me like, what's going on? And I, I remember I, I took my arm, and I turned her head to look the other way, and I said, honey, we just need to keep driving. Well, I believe that God gave me a little, little detour. And he showed me what was going on. And I began, I was seeking him for a long time of what I could write that would make a difference in the society's world. And I believe he gave me this dream. He also gave me another dream. And in the dream, I am fighting this huge giant. Um, I, we haven't even started the fight yet. I'm behind a ring. I mean, I got these, like, red shorts on with, you know, gold uh, stripes or whatever. And uh, my little skinny legs. And this guy was huge. He was, like, you know, three to four times my size you know, many feet taller. Uh, his arms were about twice the thick, as thick as my legs. I mean, he was huge. And I remember there was a pastor on the outside of the ring, and I knew the name. His name was Pastor Shepherd. And I 
you know, knew he was my trainer, my instructor. So I had Pastor Shepherd. does that sound like Jesus or what, who was instructing me, you know, how to fight this giant. Well, I didn't know how to fight this huge giant. It was like, like a David and Goliath fight. And uh, I remember all of a sudden it's like, you know, the, the guy, you know, I don't even know who he's called, the announcer, he comes over and, you know, like, okay, you guys are going to fight. He starts, you know, talking about this. And the next thing I know, I hear the bell go off. Well, immediately I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like dead. And I just close my eyes at that moment. And when I close my eyes, it was like all of a sudden, you know, uh, anyways, boom, I hear a thud. And when I open my eyes, this being is laid out right on, you know, right in the boxing ring. And I'm declared, you know, to be the winner, victory, you know, my right hand, you know, up in the air, the guy was holding it up, you know what I mean? Well, I didn't even fight in that fight. It made no sense to me at all. And what I believe that God was saying was, it's just like I turned my daughter's head not to look at what was going on behind the scenes in the black line. You know, the Bible says in the last days that darkness shall cover the face of the earth. All these people are covered in darkness. And it was less and less huh, until, which was actually more and more, because you know, the more we go toward the way of the flesh, the Bible says there's three enemies, the world, the flesh, and the devil. So, you know, the world causes our flesh to be activated, full of lust and desires outside of his will. And, uh, you know, anyways, and, and it's energized and inspired by Satan, you know. And uh, so, and, and the whole industry, all the money... It could be used to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, to, you know, help the, the you know, the sick. You know, Jesus is like, where were you, you know, when I was sick and in prison, you know? Oh, hey, we were out, you know, driving great cars and like that because all our money was coming in from the sex industry and we were abusing women and girls and children and, and supporting the entire sex industry and the entire sex trafficking throughout the world. And Jesus is like, you know, I never knew you depart from iniquity. Anyways, so I learned to win the battle. I had to turn away. My daughter, I turned her head away. God allowed me to go through a detour. He allowed me to take a little zigzag detour to see what was going on so that I could communicate it. And, uh, you know, I, I got involved myself. So I'm not, I'm not telling you I didn't. That's what my book's about. And I share, you know, going in and out of the world of pornography. But I'm telling you... That, that, you know, toxic resolution is, is the result of that. And I believe any man who wants to get free, who, has, who wants integrity in his life again, wants, you know, a pure heart and a pure conscience before God and before man, you know, if he'll read this book, it, it's a resolution to make a difference, to have righteousness once again rule our eyes and to turn away. And if you remember in this battle, remember, all I did was I closed my eyes, and boom, that beast, that, you know, Goliath, that creature in the ring that was, you know, three or four times my size was knocked out. And that's how you win the battle. That is the key, is we have to close our eyes to the things that cause the world, the flesh, the things of the devil to increase in our life. If we close our eyes to those things, if we quit feeding the dog, you know, that it's, it's the dog, when there's a fight, it's the dog that, you know, has been eating. He's the strong one. He's going to win the fight. So you've got to starve the dog, and that dog is going to, you know, uh, anyways, starve porn, starve, you know, that addiction. you got to turn away. You have to turn aside. You have to close your eyes. You have to get out of that situation, and God will help you in it. So this is what this book, Toxic Resolution, is about. I believe that God has given, gave me this book, to help men and, and women, you know, that are addicted to the whole, whatever the sex industry is producing out there that, that ties us to the world, the flesh, and the devil, that this book is going to be a great help for you. So it's available as a Kindle, you know, uh, you know, you can get it on a cloud reader. You can buy it on Kindle. If you're a prime Kindle, you can get it for free. But, uh, you know, you can get a paperback through Amazon, however you want to get it. But I believe if you truly want to be free, from pornography. God gave me specific revelations throughout that entire book to help men and women walk in integrity and honesty, a pure heart, 
a pure mind and a pure conscience before God. And, you know, when Jesus comes back, he says that, you know, he's seeking his church without spot and without blemish. You know, and he desires us to be free from all the addictions of this world that entrap and ensnare us and keep us connected to the way of the world, the way of the flesh, and the way of the devil. So I just want to encourage you, man, to get this book. If you truly want to make a resolution, you want to have real principles that you can apply, real revelations from heaven to be free for once and for all of these addictions that cause you to be less than you are, to cause you to have less of a witness for Jesus Christ, and to cause you to, you know, cringe and fear, in a sense, and, and, and intimidated by this whole, you know, realm that, that is, you know, it's on the billboards, it's on the internet, it's on our cell phones, it's everywhere, but you can truly walk free of that and have a clean heart, pure eyes, and a pure conscience before God. So, hey, just type in toxic resolution on Amazon.com. You can get it on Kindle again, get it in paperback. But I want to encourage you, man, to get that book if you truly want to make a resolution to be free. All right, man. Hey, thanks for your time, man. God bless you. And, uh, you know, get on my website, www.triumphantvision.com. Uh, get on YouTube. Uh, i got 120 or so videos on YouTube that there would be a, just a great encouragement, all kinds of different subjects about hearing the voice of God, about the end times about the rapture, about, you know, the day and time that we're in and how we, this is like the, the, the next phase of the end time harvest, starting out at the beginning of this 2013. It's like literally we are now entering in. The, the harvest fields are white to harvest, and the Lord of the harvest is saying who will go out and who will bring them in. So I just want to encourage you to get that. All right. Hey, God bless, man. Thanks for your time.